Hi guys, welcome to the presentation. Let's discuss about topo cloning. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button to get latest updates and click on the bell icon to enable notification. Let's see what is uh, topo cloning. Topo cloning is a molecular cloning technique for rapidly joining the DNA fragments. Topo cloning is simple, efficient and fast method of cloning compared to the regular restriction enzyme based cloning. The topoclonic can be performed in room temperature and can be ready for transformation in 5 to 10 minutes. So this is the advantage of topocloning. The transformation ready ligator product will be completed in just 5 to 10 minutes. The topocloning technique makes use of uh, topoisomerase 1 enzyme and this technique does not require restriction enzymes and DNA ligase. Because of this topocloning is a DNA ligase and restriction enzyme free cloning method. And the Efficiency achievable using this topo cloning is around 95 percentage. So that is a brief introduction to the topo cloning. It's a fast method, simple and efficient method and this can be completed in 5 to 10 minutes. And the key thing is uh, it utilizes the topo isomerase 1 enzyme and does not require restriction enzyme and DNA ligase for the cloning. Let's see the uh, principle of the topo cloning. The key to the topo cloning method is the property of uh, enzyme topoisomerase one from uh, vaccinia virus and this is used to ligate the two DNA molecule together. The topoisomerase one enzyme uh, like the other restriction enzyme has both recognition site and uh, that it binds to as well as the cleavage site. In case of uh, vaccinia virus topoisomerase one the sequence for recognition is uh, CCCTT. Additionally, the enzyme also has ligation activity where it catalyzes the exposed phosphate group attached to the 3' end T residue after it has cleaved the DNA strand. The main role of uh, this enzyme is to cleave the tightly bound DNA sequence in the cells that is exploited in this technique. The topo, isomer, the topo vectors are prepared and uh, topo isomerase 1 is introduced uh, so that uh, it covalently joins to the linearized vector ends. Unlike the T4 DNA ligase enzyme that is typically used in the restriction enzyme ligation cloning and is carried out on ice for 30 to 60 minutes. Ligation with the uh, topo isomerase 1 is completed only in 5 minutes at room temperature. That is the key advantage of this technique. Let's see the different types of uh, topo cloning. There are three different types of topo cloning. Uh, one is the sticky and TA cloning, blend and cloning and directional cloning. Both the uh, sticky end and the blend and cloning are uh, bidirectional, uh, meaning that uh, the insert can be cloned in either direction. So let's see the sticky end uh, based top, uh, topo TA cloning. The sticky end topo cloning is bidirectional meaning that the product can be ligated in either orientation into the vector. And uh, this method utilizes the ability of tag DNA polymerase to add A overhang to the 3 prime end of the PCR product. So the insert is generated by PCR using ta containing the tag DNA polymerase in the reaction that adds the 3 prime end overhangs 3 prime end A to the PCR product and this PCR product is ligated to the linearized topo vector having the T overhangs and this is achieved using the topo isomerase 1. So for the sticky and uh, topo TA cloning, uh, the PCR product is first generated with the A overhang using tag polymerase enzyme. Uh, additional uh, extension step can be added to in, uh, add the A overhang to the PCR product and uh, this is ligated to the linearized topo vector having T overhang and the ligation reaction will be done with the help of topo isomerase 1 which is covalently attached to the vector. Here you can see the uh, linearized uh, T overhang containing vector and the topo isomerase and that is ligated with the TAC amplified PCR product with the A overhang and the incubation with this at uh, room temperature for 5 minutes will induce the ligation reaction and it will be ready for the transformation. Let's see the blend and topo cloning. The blend and topo cloning is uh, bidirectional, meaning that the product can ligate either in either uh, orientation into the vector. For the application that requires minimal er error in the insert, proofreading polymerase enzyme is used for generating the PCR product. So the application which requires the uh, error-free insert, proofreading enzymes are used. 
so but the uh, problem with the proofreading enzyme is that it does not add the ao overhang to the pcr product so the product generated using proofreading enzyme will not have ao overhang at the 3 prime end so in this method topo vector used has blunt ends so we have to use the blunt ended uh, topo vector and the blunt ends at c c c t t and this is the sequence which ends a blunted uh, topo vector and uh, this is generated by treating with the uh, type 2 restriction endonuclease so this uh, endonuclease is used only to generate the blunt end in the vector so we don't have to use any uh, any uh, restriction enzyme for ligation the insert also should have blunt ends to achieve this method of cloning so to achieve the blunt end cloning we have to use a proofreading enzyme so that it does not provide any ao overhang and the ligation of the blunt end product and the vector is mediated by the topo isomerase 1 enzyme here you can see the insert is uh, blunt end and the linearized vector is also having the blunt ends and uh, both of them are mixed and incubated at room temperature for 5 minutes to generate the ligated product and this can be used for transformation let's see the uh, directional uh, topo cloning in directional topo cloning the product will be cloned to the vector only in one direction so this can be direct the advantage of this method is uh, that uh, it can be directly cloned to the expression vector for uh, protein production and other applications the directional topo cloning vectors contain a single stranded uh, gt gg overhang on the 5 prime end and a blunt end at the 3 prime end the four o nucleotide overhang invades the double stranded dna of the pcr product and annuls to the sequence cacc that is placed with the Phi prime of the primer. The topo isomerase one then ligates the PCR product in the correct orientation. Here you can see the topo isomerase one recognition site and the PCR product uh, with the blunt end uh, designed with uh, CACC at the Phi prime end. No modification at the three prime end. So this is incubated with the vector and the PCR product and uh, the extra GTGG is released and the topo isomerase ligates the sequence and it will be ready for the transformation. Hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.